All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Prometheus uh, Engineer press uh, pressure suit figure. How he looks uh, in packaging from the front and on the back. A couple of pictures, picture of the toy, and you're welcome to pause and read that. And, uh, let's get this figure out of packaging. All right, and here we have the pressure suit engineer outside of packaging. Uh, I messed with this figure a little bit now, and uh, I come to the conclusion that this is a very awesome figure. Um, granted that the articulation, uh, uh, it's it's okay. Um, the fact that you can't do any really cool dynamic poses, but uh, uh, it's still an awesome figure. Um, as far as the sculpts goes um they did a great job on it uh every intricate detail you can see it's sculpted on here and uh <clears throat> and uh yeah it's uh it's overall a very very nice piece uh let's do a closer look at his uh head sculpt for a second so you guys could really see all right and here he is uh, hat sculpt, it's very nice. I think they did a really good job at it. And uh, the pressure suit, look at all that intricate detailing. And uh, this lower half here, it's, uh, it's got a rubber uh, skin over it, I guess. Those are the legs. And here's a closer look at the back side. <clears throat> Again, the detailing on this is quite amazing. I'm very happy with this figure. Alright, as far as articulation, uh, head is on ball joint, uh, shoulders are ball hinge, that is how far it will go out. And then uh, ball hinge elbows, and then uh, ball jointed wrist, ball jointed chest, and then uh, ball hinge uh, hips, ball hinge uh, knees, and uh, ball jointed ankles. So, um, range of motion for this guy, it's a uh, quite nice but uh, they are limited uh, a little bit so don't expect any dynamic poses from this guy and as far as his height uh, this figure stands about eight inches tall so it's pretty accurate to how he um, how he uh, how tall he was in the movie and here's a DC Direct um, Riddler as you can see the engineer is definitely taller so it's pretty accurate so yeah I uh, got this at Toys R Us for about uh, 1749 something like that uh, I'm sure other toys are a little bit cheaper, so um, there you go. Thanks for watching.